I'm going to be talking about this Lueton LT898 UV dual band 2 meter 440 mobile radio. Although this radio has much more higher and lower frequency capabilities beyond amateur radio bands for other uses, I'm going to confine this video to the field of amateur radio use only. The radio form factor size is considered in the micro category and it is incredibly small and as a comparison of old technology versus new technology, I got out my original Heathkit 2036A 2 meter mobile radio along for a side by side. This really is an extreme comparison spanning many years, but it's interesting, at least to me, maybe to you. I built this Heathkit radio myself completely from scratch in 1980 from a kit and it has served me faithfully for many years and was and still is a great working piece of equipment for its time including having an auto patch keypad microphone the famous MyCoder 2 by Heathkit a repeater plus minus offsets 5 kilohertz frequency steps and CTCSS encoding abilities although there are only three PL tone possibilities and you would have to set them manually with audio generating equipment to specific values. In contrast, the Lewiton has 58 built-in CTCSS tones to cover every possible repeater encoding and decoding need that you might have. Uh, this Heathkit runs full-time 10 watts on transmit requiring 2.6 amps while the Lueton runs the same 10 watts requiring only 1.8 amps. The Lueton also runs low power transmit of 4 watts requiring only 1 amp. The Heathkit's microphone cable is permanently connected to the front of the radio as you can see while the Lueton's microphone cord quickly unclips via a standard RJ45 connector same as an Ethernet connector for a computer. This huge cabinet on the Heathkit is maxed out on the inside, stuffed, and doesn't even have room for a built-in speaker, while this teeny tiny Lueton has a top-mounted internal speaker with 400 milliwatts driving it, and it can get loud. Uh, the Heathkit covers 2 meters FM only from 143.5 to 148.5 megahertz requiring physical dialing on rotary switches every time you want to change frequency. While the Lueton covers 136 to 174 megahertz VHF FM and 400 to 470 megahertz UHF FM and has 199 channel possibilities at the push of a button. The Lueton also has CTCSS and DTMF encoding and decoding capabilities. I think you get the idea so I'll get on with the main focus here. The Lueton's multifunctional DTMF keypad microphone allows you to operate over 75 percent of the most necessary and important radio functions but bear in mind you will have to commit a lot of these functions to your memory and I'm talking about brain memory particularly the ABCD buttons here on the microphone, uh, star and pound, the P1, P2, P3 buttons on the front of the radio which are dual function. Uh, for these P1, P2, and P3 buttons there are 16 possible functions to choose from so that you will wind up with your choice of six of the most popular ones at your fingertips just by dual functionality. Uh, for the car usage, I added a slightly larger mobile speaker which helps in a vehicle environment. The mind-blowing small size of this radio allows for mounting or hiding it in some really obscure, convenient, or small places in a vehicle. The dual display, which you will see in the next video, splits the screen into AB frequency readouts and AB channels and shows multiple icons for every function and setting at a glance. Although I must warn you, like I said, some of them are quite small. Uh, on my next video, I'm going to power this up 
explain a few important functions and program a repeater and simplex frequency so that you can see how it's done manually. Stay tuned.